I'd say early middle school, like sixth grade, I was dead set on being a professional baseball player. I wrote an essay about it when I was in fourth grade. I remember I was just like, I'm going to become a pro baseball player. With the first selection of the 2019 MLB draft, the Baltimore Orioles select. Whatever he sets his mind to, he just makes a plan and it happens. Since he was yay high, he's been writing lists. I can still picture a whiteboard in the kitchen where he has his baseball list. He likes to play, likes to play with friends. They were in the cul-de-sac playing kick the can at night, shooting baskets. He would play hard all day and then when he'd hit the sack, he was out like that. It didn't matter if I was making dinner in the kitchen or we were outside, he was just always playing, playing, playing. He'd get on something and he would stay on it, you know, whether it was trying to go catch snakes or whether it was making paper airplanes or hitting a baseball. I was coaching summer collegiate and collegiate and my daughter and he and my wife would, they would go do a lot of the road trips. I was always going to baseball games. It was either my dad playing or my dad coaching or it was him playing and uh, my dad, you know, also coaching him. We'd take our van, drive up to Canada like eight hours and we'd sit in the back. We'd just entertain ourselves. We'd bring our bikes sometimes. There'd be trails to ride on. There were marmots, I remember, on one trip that we got to like feed and stuff. And so it was just like the little, little aspects that we were uh, able to, you know, make into vacation while we were up there. It's kind of, kind of unique. I loved watching my husband play. I loved watching him coach. I loved watching the children watch him. Sometimes Adley would get to go in the dugout with the team. And by about eight years old, Adley was out there shagging balls during the college batting practices, be diving after balls and whatnot. So I think they kind of gained their passion for the game, just being around it. I think he just wanted to be where his friends were. He loved it. He loved doing what his dad did but as long as his friends were playing, he was going to be there. When they were growing up, we really were into telling the kids, you know, whatever you're gonna put your heart into, make sure that you, you put out your best effort, attitude, effort, or things that you have control of. I started to get older, like seventh grade, and the kids started to develop, and I was one of the smaller kids at that point. You start to question kind of, okay, like if kids are better than me at my own high school, and like middle school, then how am I going to be as good as the kids in the whole state and the whole country? Like, is this really a realistic dream? 